Hi there, this is Tracy from Est 414 Ministries. Thanks for joining me today as I read from Henry and Richard Blackaby's devotional, Experiencing God Day by Day. March 2nd, now is the acceptable time. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Isaiah 61, 1a through 2b. God's timing is perfect. When He speaks, the time to respond in obedience is now. We often act as if we have all the time in the world to obey Him, but history doesn't wait on our commitments. There is no such thing as postponing a decision with God. Either we obey or we disobey. It is either faith or unbelief, obedience or disobedience. When God announces that now is the acceptable time, what you do next is critical. How often people have been unprepared when a word came to them from the Lord. God said, now is the time for you to respond to me. And their response was, but I'm not ready. I have some things I need to do first. I'm too busy. Matthew 8, 21. God's timing is always perfect. He knows you and he is fully aware of your circumstances. He knows all that he has built into your life until now. And he extends his invitation knowing that his resources are more than adequate for any assignment he gives you. That is why scripture tells us God is concerned with our heart. If we do not keep our heart in love with Jesus, our disobedience when God speaks could affect the lives of others. When God speaks, it is always out of the context of eternity. We don't have to know all the implications of what he is asking. We just have to know that it is a word from Almighty God. Now is always the acceptable time to respond to the Lord. Thanks for listening and have a great day.